Hi guys, my name is Wanda Zandara Siwera and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing with you guys five ways that can help you to stick to your personal budget. This is the third video I'm recording on budgeting one-on-one -on -one series. So if you haven't already watched my uh, previous two videos, be sure to check them out. But before we can start, I just want to say thank you guys for your support. I've seen your subscriptions, your comments and likes. And I'm really, really grateful for the support that I've been getting in this YouTube streets. And if you're a new viewer as well, be sure to subscribe and let's continue to learn and grow together. Getting into today's topic. So budgeting can be a little bit tricky. It can be difficult, especially staying consistent with your budget. You hit this one bad month where things don't go according to your budget. Maybe you overspend and you spend the next two to three months trying to catch up for that one bad month. That can be demotivating and for some it's tempting for them to quit. That's why today I'm bringing you those tricks that you can apply on your budget to remain consistent and to get to, um, to reach your financial goals for 2021. So number one live within your means i'm sure you guys have had this so many times and that's simply because this is key to stay consistent with your budget so what this simply means is that you must make sure that you never spend a lot more than what you have because this can get you into debt and debt can be a vicious cycle where you take one loan to pay up for another loan and more loans to pay up for more loans right and then you end up paying more on interest than you would have if you were to save up for that specific product or service so if you go shopping and you see something that you like that is not on your budget try to discipline yourself and include it on your next budget if it's fit and um yeah remain consistent on your budget number two get an accountability partner so i do this a lot especially when it comes to saving so you get someone who you trust for me that's my younger sister and you tell them what you plan to um to save up for the year and then they can keep on reminding you and um supporting you throughout the year on what you want to save up for but that's not only it if there's something that you want to eliminate on your budget let's say you want to cut down on takeouts um your the person whom you stay with is a good accountability partner for that because they will always see you when you want to buy out that those takeouts or when you go shopping so they can remind you to stay uh, accountable for your own budget number three sleep on big purchases i know that sometimes you get to a shop and you're excited about a purchase and you just want to buy it day in day however it's very advisable for you to go back home and think about um how that affects your budget especially if there is a loan that is offered with that specific budget that specific product so you need to understand how does the repayment of that loan affects your budget also you should check out um other shops that have similar products maybe you might find it for a cheaper price and you can save up on some cash number four pay yourself first you know what if you haven't already been doing this please make sure that you go try it out and tell me how it works. So what this uh, is, is that you, you need to put an automated system in place so that your money gets de debited to your savings. So you allocate a certain percentage of your income to get debited into the account which you save into. I'm telling you, you'll feel like you have new money coming from somewhere. Uh, this just helps you to not think about how much to save on a month to month basis. And you save the same percentage of money on a monthly basis. And you get to see your money accumulate and it helps you to grow in terms of your finance. Number five be realistic with your goals have you ever set up goals where you can see that those goals are setting you up for failure yeah don't be that person so try to make sure that you're realistic so that you don't always live on tight budget because then you are bound to fail on your budgeting so make sure that you know for entertainment if you're an entertainment person you allocate certain funds for entertainment and also you allocate certain funds for saving and thank you that's it from my side see you next time on another video bye